guys Armand here and today we're bringing back some flea market finds that I found over the weekend um, a lot of these cards are pretty new I want to say there's some old school cards Wizards of the Coast some 1999 stuff but the majority of the Wizards of the Coast stuff that I do collect the that I did find at the flea market the prices were like <laughs> like four times what they were actually worth and obviously I'm not going to pay for that um, Prices are still high at a lot of places that I'm seeing, uh, flea market wise. I still feel like garage sale wise, that's where I'm finding the best deals. But the lack of garage sales, at least in my area, the Northeast in Pennsylvania, is <laughs> very slim pickings. Um, but I'm going to go through some of the stuff I did find at the flea market. I do sleeve them this way because I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I, sometimes I hold them sell them for bulk uh if i don't have the card i will put it in the binder where i need it but all of these i have um so let's just go through it because there is a lot uh here's the rainbow charizard i think this was the last rainbow charizard to ever come out um a lot of these cards i got for a great deal i think i i got all these cards i got from three or four different vendors um, there's a lot of vendors, but like I said, they're wanting prices four or five times more than what things are actually truly worth. Um, here's a Lily from Shining Fates. I picked this up because obviously her cards plummeted from what it was a month ago, about 60% lower. Uh, but you never know. I'll still take it raw card. I think I bought this for like $10. Um, so here's a lot that I found for Skyla from Shining Fates 2. Here's a Japanese one, which, I, which I'm going to keep because I may even get this one graded because Japanese full art waifu trainers go for a boatload. But, I've, but I'm finding people that collected these. These are pretty much worthless now. Um, I think they're worth like 20 bucks raw. PSA 10's worth give or take, I think like 40, 50, 60 bucks max. Um, but the reason I'm picking these up is maybe down the road, five, six years from now, what if they skyrocket? Like, you never know. Just like this Lily did. This Lily was going, oh, this is, this Lily was going for like 40, 50 bucks when it came out, which was the most expensive one from the Shining Fates at the time, full art trainer wise. And then it kind of disappeared and didn't hear of it till literally a month ago where a PSA 10 of this card was selling for a thousand dollars. So I know Skylas, these Skylas are so freaking highly printed, stuff like that. But hey, I mean, I got these for such a cheap deal where it's like, hey, might as well hold on to them. Um, same thing with these Charizards. I mean, I think this is the most graded Charizard of all time. Um, I think I have a, a whole bunch of these. I just got to put them in order. I think there's like 20 of these. Um, but I was like, hey, it's a great deal. Might as well pick them up. The reason I'm picking these up is I can get it so cheap for bulk price that it's almost worth it. Just even if I, even if they don't ever go up, it is what it is. So here's a Lugia EX. It's a nice looking card. I think it's a promo card. There was some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I saw too. Um, here's an Exodia. Uh, these were the um, XY uh, Muse. These were at one point going for like, I think like three or four hundred dollars PSA 10. Now they plummeted, but I just add them to the deal just because you never know. Here's another Lugia. This is from Vivid, uh, Vivid Voltage. This was a promo. I think this was that, not the pre release, but like the battle packs that they used to come in. Here's some rainbow rares like we got. Uh, I forgot what set these were from. I think these may be Vivid Voltage too. Um, Gardevoir, beautiful car. I think at one point I remember this rainbow rare Gardevoir PSA 10 was going for like $400. I don't know what it is nowadays, but Lugia EX. Here's some McDonald's cards. Here's a first edition Totodial from uh, the Neo set freaking great card this is like i think this is the first or second printed total dial ever 
Um, big fan. First, this card's mint, so that's why I picked it up. It's literally very well centered on the back. It's probably a PSA 9, just because the centering on the front, the top is slightly bigger than the bottom. But it is what it is. Uh, this is the Kids WB set. These were like the first promo cards to ever come out for Pokemon. I remember this as a kid. I was ecstatic when I saw this. Um, it's a four card set. Dragon Knight's probably my favorite out of these. Um, there was an error pack of these, which I have yet to find in real life, where this Kids WB symbol that you see, this gold symbol right there, um, actually is not there or flipped over backwards and it's printed over here so that's some things that i wish i uh could find because i do collect some error cards um here's a flapple this was the gamestop promo these were super popular at one point um here's a whole bunch of charizard gx's uh these are pretty much worthless nowadays but these were promo cards i think they came in the tins um, but like I said, if it ever skyrockets or whatever, it's just nice to have. Um, there's a whole bunch. I have one more pack. So here's a whole bunch more of those. This guy had a bunch. So I was like, Hey, I might as well pick them up. Cause I literally bought these, man. I want to say for almost like $2 a piece. Cause I bought bulk obviously. So Here's a bunch more of those Charizards. This, this Charizard is worthless. I mean, there's over like 10,000 PSA, 10 copies of it. Um, there's a whole bunch. Here's some McDonald's 25th anniversary. Oh, I forgot to sleeve this one. Here's a computer error. This was a Black Star promo card. I think these are just a whole bunch more of the McDonald's cards. Here is a reverse hollow Charizard. I forget what set this is from. Um, but I was like, hey, might as well pick it up. Reverse hollows aren't looked at that much. Here's a bunch more of these McDonald's cards. They're all pretty much worthless. But I was like, hey, I might as well pick them up as part of the uh, bundle. Here's MU, uh, for any of you Yu-Gi-Oh fans, this this isn't the first print Dark Magician, this is the second print. Um, I got it for super cheap, I wish it was the first print, but fortunately it wasn't. Here's a Reshiram Charizard. Uh, tag Team, those are pretty cool. Uh, I think these are from Shining Fates, I'm not 100%, I don't 100% remember. Here's a Nita... Here's a Rainbow Art Phoebe, Rainbow Art Alina. Nessa, I mean, these waifus been skyrocketing. So, I mean, these cars are worth nothing pretty much. But I was like, hey, might as well pick them up. Had a whole bunch, got a great deal just in case. Every, anytime in the future, I can always get them graded or something like that. Um, and then the last card I picked up was actually a graded card. A lot of the graded cards that I saw at the flea market were stupid expensive. I mean, you're looking at like three, four. I even seen cards that are like 10 times the value of what they actually are selling for. Um, people are still thinking they're going to become rich off of cards when they're honestly not. Um, but here's a Dark Magneton. This is a Team Rocket set. It's only a PSA 8. Um, but this card in the PSA 10 is like one of the rarest cards in this whole entire set for Team Rocket. Just because it's so hard to get this hollow um, or print lines and stuff like that. For the non-first edition though. First edition actually is uh, less rare than the non-first edition of this card. So this card, non-first edition, is rarer than the first edition if it's a PSA 10. Um, I got this for 20 bucks. It was super cheap. So I was like, hey, we might as well just throw it in. Um, but... That's what we found. Um, that's all I found for the last two weeks at flea markets that I thought was worthy. Um, I don't have many flea markets in the area. It's very rare because it's more upper middle class. So they kind of don't allow that anywhere around here. Um, the only flea markets they do allow is like food and farmers markets, stuff like that. Um, but 
if you guys do have flea markets, check them out. There, there's going to be a lot of overpriced cards, but there's going to be a lot of cards you could find some good deals on. And always remember, try to buy bulk. I mean, you're going to get some, you're, at least you're supposed to get much cheaper prices if you're buying bulk from someone. Um, especially if they're super overpriced. overpriced. I mean, it's not like you're going to lowball them, but buying bulk is going to get you like 10, 15, 20% cheaper especially if someone doesn't know what they're truly selling. Um, and from my experience, I would say yard sales are still definitely better um, because it's stuff people want to get rid of. I mean, flea markets is people are trying to make some extra money. They kind of know what they're doing. Yard sales are, hey, I just want to get rid of this as fast as I can because I need the money or I'm moving or I just need to clear clear the house. So they really don't care. So I, I, I'll st still stick to garage sales when I find them. It's just super hard for me to find them. Um, but hopefully I can get some more content like this, uh, depending on how good the flea markets are in my area, uh, for the next couple of, uh, weeks, because obviously fall's coming, winter's coming. So it's going to be a little bit harder to find those, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm trying to post a little bit more, but I was waiting for that Beckett return. It did return. Um, and I couldn't get a video up in time because someone saw it. Someone saw, um, my return and they literally bought the whole set <laughs> like they bought all 15 card bundle and i was like oh i, I need to make a video for this <laughs> but you know i gotta be a good uh, seller so i gotta send the customer the cards asap um especially since they bought all of them um so unfortunately i couldn't get a video of that but i'm getting one more becker return that's probably gonna be the last becker return i ever do i'm never gonna send cards to becca ever again um that's a topic for a different time um but let me know what you guys want to see i mean i'll open up pretty much anything uh, as long as we're not <laughs> spending like 20 g's on a wizards of the coast sealed booster box um but yeah let me know what you guys want to see if you guys liked it i mean please like subscribe leave me a comment say hi say what's up i'll answer every comment that gets posted underneath the uh video um and i'm brand new i mean i'm just trying to grow this i'm a 30 year old 90 streamer that loved pokemon and still loves it but specifically the watsy era i could care less about these new era cards um but i appreciate you guys for watching stay tuned for the next video and as always reach out to your friends reach out to your family no matter how happy they may look you never know who's struggling with what um and your hand out there to to just to say what's up hey how you doing may save somebody's life so i mean you never know what people are going through so appreciate you guys for watching stay tuned and as always love love everyone love yourself love you